Welcome to the Art of Connection, Muslim Matters Edition. I'm your host, Bilal Khan, and this piece is about wisdom. I had a question with one of the local imams here. And the question that I was posing was, why is it that we have several books of prophetic narrations? You know, we have the book of Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Imam uh, Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi and, and so on. We have several of these books. Why not just compile all the content into a single work? And I wish more people knew this or they, at least they explained why one studies the science and the knowledge of the prophetic tradition in this manner. And what he said was, it's not so much about studying the content. Yes, a lot of the content is similar between the books. When you're studying these books, you are also studying the people who compiled these books. So when you study Imam Bukhari or when you study Imam Muslim, what you do is you're looking at their life, who these individuals were, what time they lived in, the circumstances that existed during their times, what was the approach that they took to compiling these narratives and, uh, and, and how they went about classifying them and how they went about putting all of this information together so that through this, you would also understand their methodology and have a mental framework in terms of how to approach knowledge. Why are there multiple books or why do you study more than one book? Why do you study more than one methodology? So you have multiple frameworks to work with. It's interesting because in the area of business and finance, there is a similar approach. When I first started in college, I actually went in as an economics major. One of the things that I wanted to do was get into bond trading, which is the trading of debt, until I realized that uh, interest and uh, the dealing of interest-based interest instruments is not permissible within the Islamic faith. However, and one of the things I still did learn to appreciate, you study different processes and different ways of going about financial instruments and business analysis. And when you're looking at the merging and coming together of different companies or the selling off of different parts of companies, there's different frameworks that you go about approaching these different challenges. Now, from a business context, from an economics stamp standpoint, this makes total sense. When you frame it in that perspective towards the understanding of the spiritual sciences, it's something that really gave me a whole new level of appreciation. So the fact that you have multiple frameworks to work with, um, you have multiple frameworks to engage and learn and, and, and be able to know how to apply different situations and scenarios into your own life. Why is it that some people, they might go ahead and get certifications, the traditional sense in a jaza, permission to teach a particular subject. So for example, there's a famous compilation known as 40 Prophetic Traditions compiled by Imam Nawawi. A lot of people teach this subject matter. Why is it that somebody might go and get ijazas? Why would they get the permission to teach and the allowance to teach this subject material from multiple people? Isn't it just enough to get that permission from one person? Technically, yes. You can get it from one person. That would most certainly give you the ability and permission to be able to teach that. However, knowledge is one thing. If you learn from multiple people and you get the quote unquote certification from multiple people, then now you're also learning about the approach and methodology of that in instructor, of that scholar. And at the same time, you're also learning from their wisdom. And for one to be able to get insight from multiple angles on a single subject increases one's breadth and depth of knowledge in that area. What does this have to do with connection? Well, there's a lot of things. It's, a, it's about knowledge is about context. It's not just about information. It's about being able to share what you know with somebody else or with a group of people and share it in such a way that it is applicable to them. You are able to influence people that way. You're, about, you're able to connect and give betterment to people's lives that way if we have more than one method of approaching a problem. So this way, if one way doesn't work, you know how to approach it from a different angle, from a different perspective, through 
new sources of wisdom, perhaps. Let me know your thoughts. May you be blessed with peace, safety, security, and freedom now and in the days to come. I'll see you soon.